Hi, Nava Barkakati again. I'm going to take about three minutes to tell you what cloud computing really is. To understand, you have to start with a physical computer. Anyone, think of a desktop, a laptop, server, whatever, a handheld uh, smartphone, whatever. All of them have these four uh, common and key elements. You have the processor, you have memory, you have storage, and you have network connectivity. On top, you have the operating system, Windows, Linux, so on and so forth, and you have applications, um, you know, spreadsheet, uh, word processor, web browser, so on and so forth. So that's a physical computer model that you have used all the time for a long time. Along comes the idea of virtualization. Now, the virtualization is actually software that creates multiple virtual machines on a physical machine. And each virtual machine has its own collection of virtual processor, memory, storage, and network connectivity. And so, and then of course you can run different sets of applications in each of these virtual machines. So, end result is that with the virtualization software, you can run multiple virtual machines with different operating systems if you want, and you can run different sets of applications in each virtual machine on a single physical machine. That's some of the key elements, right? Then other um, concept that you have to remember is that, of course, you need to be able to create and destroy these virtual machines easily. That's a key element as well. And there's control software for that. So the software uh, assigns memory to virtual machines, assigns storage to virtual machines. So those are called provisioning. So the control software for rapidly provisioning, concept of virtualization for creating virtual machines, together with the network connectivity, good network connectivity, uh, gives you cloud. Now they use the term cloud comes from the fact that when you draw, we do network diagrams, so we always show the cloud uh, net in the internet as a cloud. And so that's how it comes about. And of course, all the well known cloud based services are on the internet. Of course, they are always on the internet anyway. That's the whole point of being able to access it. Now, anything else that you hear about as far as cloud computing goes, in terms of, you know, public cloud, private cloud, or community cloud, or types of service, you know, software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. Those are the secondary elements. Those are ways in which service is sold or the way in which a cloud is designed to be used by what groups of people. The focus on the basics, virtualization, management software, and network connectivity combined is going to give you a cloud. So keep that in mind. And then we'll talk later on about why cloud computing is so, so important. Thank you.